Hi, I'm Jared West. I'm an acupuncturist and I teach Qigong. And for those of you, a lot of people have been watching the videos we've done and that's exciting. It's great to be able to share tools people can use to support their health. For those of you who haven't done Qigong before, the most important thing is that it should be comfortable. We're working on connecting with energy in our body. We're helping it flow and then helping connect with energy around us so that we can support ourselves and what we kind of bring inside actually we reflect out into the world too. So caring for ourselves helps the energy around us and the people we're with and all of that. So I'm going to teach a really simple Qigong form today. I've been thinking for the past couple of weeks about what I could teach through video, which one of my teachers uh, is very old school, probably one of the first people to teach Qigong in the U.S., Sharkei Lu. And he was just an amazing guy. And he really didn't think we should do videos, but in the modern age, <laughs> we're all apart from each other and I can't actually watch how you're all doing the form. This is simple and it should feel good. And the idea for all of this is if we do a pose, it's not how hard can I do it, how strong, how much kind of tension, it's how can we create flow and space in our body. So let's start and we'll just kind of warm up a little bit. And the first thing we're gonna do is just kind of breathe and open our chest and then kind of roll our shoulders back. Yeah, nice. So this is just with our hands opening and closing, and you feel as you do this, the hands kind of open the back, and then they open the chest, so this is kind of yin-yang, front and back, breathing, opening, closing, good, opening, closing, inhale, up, so this is just kind of moving through our shoulders in a comfortable range of motion, inhale, up, exhale, down, we're going to just kind of pat our waist, so head turns, shoulders turn, hands kind of pat, this is good for the spine. You want to think about a connection here all the way through the spine from the top of your head down into your sacrum. And it opens up the hips and the knees. Good. All right, we'll just take a couple steps, get our legs moving. Okay, so the form, there's a couple points that you should know for the form. One is in the middle of the chest. It's um, kind of connects into our immune system, but also uh, into how we relate to the world around us so it can tie into relationships and stress and all this stuff that we're kind of dealing with right now and it helps when it's working well it helps us kind of know where we are and then help engage with the world around us and figure out how we want to do that it creates space and helps us kind of bridge that and then the next point is just below the belly button it's about three fingertips down but it's it's called the lower dantian and it's this reservoir it's the sea of chi so it's three fingertips down, but it's really kind of this big space that we use to store energy. And in the form, will actually, the last movement will connect into that lower dantian, and we kind of let our energy sit there, and it, we breathe with it, and it's how we kind of close. We bring all this energy we build down into the space, and we hold it. So we'll do the form. This is Mountain Greets the Wind, and I, I hope you all enjoy it. So stepping out, we're going to, I'm stepping to the right which is mirrored to all of you, so <laughs> bear with me. Hands inhale up, and extending out from the middle of the chest. And our elbows are soft, our shoulders are soft, and so with our palms, we're connecting out into the energy in front of us. And you'll feel as you're standing here, your shoulders, your back is just slightly open. You breathe, inhale, exhale. We'll take three more breaths, so a total of five, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale out. So our arms are going to kind of lead down from our shoulders. And we're receiving energy now into our palms. Breathing in through our nose, exhaling through our mouth. You feel as you're standing here, your arms actually kind of create space out from your shoulders. So you just let them kind of open your shoulders up. So this is kind of like our arms are like rivers coming down from the mountain and going down towards the ocean. Then inhale and exhale. And now our hands are going to float on the top of that sea. We'll take five breaths. 
This should be comfortable for your shoulders. And if you feel like your shoulders are getting tight, just let your breath kind of float into them. So as your ribs move, your shoulders can soften. Now on the fifth, exhale, we bring our hands up. This is a really simple version of cloud hands. So this hand is gonna connect into our lower dantian, and this one is gonna move across our body. And exhale, we go back. So this is receiving now, and this one is extending out. And cloud hands is really, it's just kind of a soothing thing to do. And we'll do this 10 times. So this, integrates the nervous system, left and right. And on the 10th time, we're gonna bring our hands down and connect into that lower dantian. And just let ourselves find stillness here. So when the body stops moving, then we can listen to how the energy moves and how our breath moves and how our spirit kind of connects all of this stuff together. hold here. And that's the form. It's simple, but the idea is create space for energy to flow and for you to take care of your health. I hope you enjoyed it. Be well. Thanks.